Good morning, everyone. We have just taken delivery of our farmer's hamper and oh my goodness, it is stocked full. So this was the farmer's hamper that I was talking about in my previous video. Hi guys, I've just showered. It's a, yeah, this is what I was talking about in my previous video when I was discussing about influencers accepting food and things like that during what's happening in the world and like, how I mentioned about having understanding to those thought processes, but also trying to shed light on a bigger picture. The people that own the farmer's hamper are both doctors and they have been working on the front line. They're frontline NHS doctors. I think they also have come over from cancer wards. I think that's correct. And they have been employing people to basically work on the farmer's hamper at this time to help get vegetables to the elderly that obviously can't leave their homes and things like that. They've actually put lots of information out on their Instagram, so I'll tag their Instagram, but they basically contacted me and they were like, we'd love to send you one. And I spoke about how we have a local farmer's shop, but this is me being able to sort of share this stuff on my platform in case any of you guys want to purchase. I'm not acting like the savior of the universe here, but hopefully that then enables them to have more, like to hire more people, create more jobs at a time when there isn't that. So just something that I wanted to give a bit of information to, but I did speak about it in my last video, so I'm probably repeating myself, but we do have lots of lovely veggies in here. These are my favorites these carrots and I follow a girl on Instagram called Katie and she I used to work with her when I was younger but she has an Instagram about her allotment and I didn't realize that you can use these so I'm gonna take the tips from her and use these I think it's like it tastes like parsley or something so that's something that I've learned that's new. I'm also keeping all of these baskets that the farmer's hamper is sending because I'm gonna use them when uh, hopefully I grow my own little veggies but we've got Lots of fruit, they've even put in some honey for Ali because Ali's obviously hoping to have some bees one day. And lots of veggies, lots of fruit, and the good old heritage tomatoes. Ooh, and some blood peaches. Very lovely. I'm more excited about the seed stuff. I know. <laughs> oh dear. We've just taken delivery of my veg truck, which I am very, very excited about. This is like the next step up from my sprutling pots. We're about to take our sprutlings very seriously and we've even got, look at this, a little seed bin. I could keep all of my seeds in there. I need to go and buy more seeds, I think. Oh, it's whores as well. That's the make of my um, watering can. Oh, is it? Yeah. It. Fabulous. Yeah. <gasps> oh, this is just too much. One day, when we're old and can't be bothered anymore, yeah. you and I are gonna end up with one vlogging channel and we're not gonna be vlogging the same stuff. But Ali is about to, to build my veg truck for me. I'll link it in the description box down below, but I know that you can get them on Amazon as well. So I'll link it down there, but he's gonna build it so that I can get potting today. It's nice. Yeah. I'm excited. Good. Make it happen. Not another new thing for the house. It's for the sprutlings. We've got Ali's friend Carl and my friend visiting us today and he's bought me some peonies. And these peonies are, honestly, I actually can't believe it. We've just put them in water and they were all little like buds and now they're, they're just opening up right before my eyes. We've been sat chatting in the garden and I've been watching them through the window and they are literally opening up by the second. They look incredible. I do love. I do love some peonies. I've also had my husband building me the latest addition to the house. This arrived this morning and Ali built it for me. This is the next step when it comes to my herb and sprutling growing. I think this can go outside and inside, but what I want to do is I'm actually going to give it a lick of paint myself. I'm gonna paint it in Farron Ball Pigeon because We've got some paint left over from the front door, so I'm gonna take it outside and paint it with you today. And then when it's dry, I am going to get planting the spruits. Obviously, I am going to pop my peony on because I'm gonna protect my clothing 
from the paint. Won't be using this dress to wipe off any paint. <laughs> I love how many of you were horrified. <laughs> it did make me laugh, it did. It really did. Pinny on. I'm gonna use the box that it came in to protect the floor around it, which means it's not going to waste. It's gonna be used for something useful. And into the cupboard of doom, I'm going to look for pigeon and any spiders that might be living in here as well. Pigeon, there we go, job done. When you can't have your pigeon colored greenhouse just yet, you buy a veg truck herb garden and paint it in pigeon instead. That is what I've spent my evening doing. We have Mr. Carl Cunard here drinking his gin. Cheers. <laughs> Socially distanced in the garden, of course. Ali is cooking in the kitchen, getting ready to barbecue. But we did just have a little bit of a mishap. Didn't we, Mr. Mill and Gordon? Do you want to show the audience what you've done? I've just redecorated. <laughs> so um, Ali was very rigorously hand washing one of my mugs in the sink. There's no evidence that it was me. <laughs> Prove it. There's lipstick on the glass. <laughs> That's because I drank out of it because it's my mug. You're the last person that has evidence on the cup. Right? Did you turn around to me and say, I'll buy you a new one? I did not <laughs> break your mug, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, babe. <gasps> I literally, I've, like, I feel sick. <laughs> Showing off. Good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and it is now a few days since I painted my veg truck herb garden. I am actually putting my hair in plaits in adventure braids because my husband has turned off the electrics because he is also working on things around the house. So I can't do my hair. So adventure braids it is for the time being. What have I been up to? On Saturday, which was yesterday, I, um, Ali and I went to visit our friends Josie and Charlie at their new house, which is not too far from us, and um, went and had brunch. And then yesterday I celebrated three, well yesterday evening, I celebrated three years working with Carrie. Can you believe it? It's been three years. Literally the best three years ever. So we celebrated that last night. We went to Nonna's in Woven Sands, which is now open again, which is brilliant. Um, and we had pizzas. And then we went to Woven Mosaic and we were so happy about that. Oh, so good. I mean, it was amazing to be back at Nonna's and it was amazing to be back at Woven Mosaic. So um, we had a lovely evening and I reckon I was home by midnight, which was good. Although I do feel a little bit delicate today. I can't like lie and say that I feel the freshest. I don't. Um, I've gone for very minimal and no makeup makeup. And like I said, adventure braids. <laughs> I have a, well, a very good unboxing to do with you because considering I'm feeling a little bit delicate today, I'll probably do a little bit of self-care. That's when I like to do on a Sunday when I'm about to start the week. So I start the week a little bit more refreshed. And I have a very, very big box of items to get into. I've done a very big order from one of my favorite brands. I look like Pippi Longstockings, but we just have to go with this because there's no electrics. Ali is putting up lights in the garden, which I'm very, very excited about. Um, I've got a H&M dress on, which I basically live in now. My dressing room, it looks so tidy from this angle, but you don't even know what is going on behind here. It is, uh, it's a hot mess. Uh, I've got a little tinted balm on, and I'm pretty much ready for the day. I've doused myself in body cream. My skin is all hydrated and nourished. Let's go. To be honest with you, I have a lot of boxes to open at some point, but that box there is the one that we are going to get into because it's big and it's got a lot of lovely stuff in there for me. Ali is doing lights in the, oh, so we've basically, we realized in the garden that we had extra light points around the house that we could add lights to, so. Oh, 
That is what Mr. Millen Gordon is doing right now. We also received a wonderful gift from the lovely lady who owns Chalk Pink Linen. She sent us some roses, which are actually roses that do well in the shade. So we might pop these and put them in the basement. Queen of Sweden rose or something like that. So she sent us that, which was just so nice. So Ali and I are probably gonna pop that today as well. One of the other really, really exciting things to happen recently it obviously everything's unfolding really kind of slowly with lockdown and it's sort of staggered but last week we got the go-ahead in terms of like all beauty salons and things like that to reopen which means like spas and places like that obviously make sure you check in your area and don't listen to me for your coronavirus advice but i thought that that was just the most exciting thing and all i want to do it's literally what I said to Carrie. I want to book in at the Grove in Watford, probably stay a night or two and go to the spa there, go to the Esper spa and have all of the Esper treatments. And if you don't know, I work with Esper regularly and I am one of their like ambassadors and I, I just love the brand so much. And we were supposed to be going to a spa in Sweden around this time, like next month. But it's just not, for me, it's just not the right time for, for traveling. I know that everyone's got their own kind of feelings on that. And I don't, like, I'm not judging anyone. You go and do whatever feels comfortable to you. But for me, I was just like, not there yet. And I said to Carrie, I was like, I need to book in. Now that it's open, let's book in. So I'm gonna do that. But in the meantime, whilst I wait to get booked in, I am going to grab this box and we're gonna open it up together because I'm so excited about what's in it. D D. D -d -d. <clears throat> can never find my blooming box openers so <laughs> cheese knife it is <laughs> we're gonna get into this box and you can see what i've ordered i've ordered some things i haven't tried but i've seen and i'm like why have i not got those i want to try them but also some of my favorites as well Um, where do we start? Where do we start? <laughs> so, as I mentioned, I work with Esper and this part of the video is a little bit of a sponsored, integrated part of the video. And um, it doesn't feel like that for me because I'm telling you about products that I'm actually like excited about, products that I pay for, and a brand that I pay for treatments from and have done in the past and loved. So 2020 is like Esper's year because they have had a huge sort of regage and all of Esper's packaging is now sustainable. And they have a Cosmos natural certificate. Now you'll know that I never want to paint myself as like the savior of the universe in any way shape or form. I'm all about the small changes in life and the small changes that add up to big changes and I've always talked about that. I admire people that have like completely changed their whole lives and live a whole sustainable lifestyle but for a lot of people that's not attainable and so little changes like using brands that product packaging and single use packaging is sustainable is just one of those things that you can be a little bit more conscious of it's something that i look for when i'm shopping for beauty or home cleaning products i try and find things that are just better and they're small changes that make big changes if that makes sense so all of the packaging from esper went sustainable on the 18th of april 2020 but they already have other plans for 2021 as well this is not where their like sustainability journey finishes they have big plans but it's also really exciting because they've had their cosmos natural certification which the globally recognized leading body that ensures all certified products are produced to the highest standard for organic and natural cosmetics and skincare all are formulated with esper's signature triactive blend of plants and extracts marine actives and essential oils to have the maximum impact on the skin, body and mind. And one of the things that I love about um, Esper is their use of essential oils because I find essential oils such an impactful way of lifting my mood. They're really a huge part of my self-care kind of routine. You'll know that I am- I didn't get that. Ooh. Could you try again? 
Siri, not now. I'm listening. So anyway, let's show you what's inside. I will link all of these products in the description box down below. You'll know that I have favorites of this. A lot of my favorites were sadly sold out, like the positivity range is just one of my favorites. It's like, for me, picking that up and being like, just a little bit of extra positivity for my day. I love, I'm sorry that I'm, I look like this right now, by the way. Instead, I got myself the energizing bath and shower gel. And, oh, wow. It's kind of like orangey. It's got like orangey citrus tones to it. But anything to give me a kick up the bum in the morning, if that's energizing, I will take it. So I wanted to give this one a try, but I love really beautiful shower gels for the evening or the morning, just to get me out of bed in the morning. <laughs> I also wanted to try their soaps, especially now that their packaging is obviously sustainable for around the house. So I went for the Neroli and Green Mandarin Hand Wash. Refreshing hand wash for cleansed and conditioned skin. Let's have a little whiff of this one. <laughs> oh, anything with Neroli in, I just love. Absolutely love, that's beautiful. So I'm gonna put that in the powder room bathroom. Nourishing Cleansing Balm. I wanted to try this out because I love me a little balm cleanser. Pardon. I also wanted to try the Invigorating Body Reviver. This is an uplifting body exfoliator to refine, smooth, and revive. Oh, smells good. One of the things I did really want to try from the brand is their hand sanitizer. This is their Bergamot and Jasmine. I prefer hand sanitizers that have um, a little bit of essential oils in it as well, because I don't like them when they, I like things with a little bit of essential oils in them, so I wanted to try those just to pop in my handbags, especially when I have to start going back to London. So the alcohol like evaporates and leaves the smell of bergamot and jasmine on your hands, which I love that. That is such a fancy little hand sanitizer. So I got three of those to pop in some handbags. I also picked up the pink hair and scalp mud. You'll know that I have issues with my scalp quite a lot. So I wanted to try this. It's an intensive treatment mask to condition and nourish hair and scalp. Massage into scalp and through damp hair, leave for 20 minutes or overnight if preferred. I'm gonna try this. Got vitamin C, watercress and red clay, whilst apricot and kernel oil conditions to help promote stronger, healthy looking, manageable hair. I'm gonna pop that in the shower now. This was one I was really excited about their face mist. I didn't even know that they did a face mist and you know I am the queen. I am the queen of face mists. <sighs> Aromatic toner to refresh and soothe. Good spray as well. Smells so good. Balancing foaming cleanser. So you'll know I love a foaming cleanser and I used to use their invigorating one for men but this one sounds a little bit more up my street I think so I'm gonna give that one a whirl I love a foaming cleanser I use a foaming cleanser every morning and every night and then I also wanted to try their purifying micellar water as well and I love the packaging it all looks like spa packaging it's like I've got a little bit of spa in my home and then I topped up especially on this one Oh no, they must have run out of my favorite one. Sad times. I picked up some of the items from the Modern Alchemist range. Um, I got some more of the grounding crystals. Whenever I do have baths, I'm not a huge bath person, but when I do have baths, I go all out. And um, these crystals are stunning, like absolutely stunning. Um, but they also do this like body balm, but I call that like my hug in a tub. You put it on, you just marinate in it. It's not like something you would put on, I would say at the beginning of the day. This is something I would put on at night and it's just beautiful. It's like kind of like an oil balm. Imagine like a balm cleanser, but you rub it all over and then it melts into the skin full of essential oils, totally like relaxing and rejuvenating. So I wanted to get a little bit more of that, but I think it might be sold out. I'll link it down below if it's not. The Modern Alchemy range is just, beautiful and the packaging is beautiful as well so it looks really smart in this like black packaging and this is the look at it look look at how beautiful those crystals are they've got little bits of flower in them these are probably the most beautiful crystals i've ever seen 
little bath salts there. Oh, so nice. But yeah, so those are some little items that I picked up from Esper. I'll link all of them in the description box down below. These are all products that I either love or I am wanting to personally try um, to see if I love them. I don't have to love them, but um, I just basically get to tell you about the ones that I do love. And because it's such a beautiful brand, it's just a joy to be able to do that. So I'm gonna pop these in their special places. This is going straight in my handbag. These are going on my sink, ready for me to use. And if I don't end up getting around to straighten, straightening my hair because of Mr. Mill and Gordon's electrics that he's doing today, I will re-wash my hair tomorrow and I'll put this on tonight. So my hair and scalp gets a little treatment because I had a bit of a thing. You might notice that my hair's quite red at the moment. There was a little bit of a mishap with my hair when I got it done after lockdown. And you, like I pointed out, I've got some breakage and things like that. So I'm having to take extra special care of my hair, but I am going to need to have it um, color corrected because I don't suit warm tones um, in my hair, sadly. But it was done because I, I actually ended up having my hair done four times, like colored four times in only a couple of days. And so I'm really having to sort of take care of my hair and look after it at the moment. So yeah, sad times, but hopefully when it's all settled down, I can get a little bit of color correction done to it. But I'm gonna pack all of this stuff, I'm gonna recycle all of the cardboard and get on with my day. I think Ali was potentially talking about going to the garden center, but that may not happen. We may just have a chilled Sunday. I'm gonna be putting some of these products to good use this evening um, and having a little bit of a pamper, a little bit of indulgence because everyone deserves it. That is like my motto. Everyone deserves a little bit of pampering now and then. I'm probably gonna use the hydrating lotion from the Modern Alchemy range before I go to bed. And I'm gonna stop battling with my husband's electrics because I very much enjoy that he gets all of this stuff done. And I'm going to probably have a little bit of lunch. Mimi. Ali is still busy fixing things outside, doing the lights, so I thought that I would make us some food and chop up some of the fruit from our farmer's hamper. This is a mango. This is a melon and we've got some kiwis as well. So I'm gonna chop those up and make a little fruit dish for us. I have just been opening up some packages that are in the hallway and oh my goodness, I have just opened up a package from Liz C Ceramics. She sent me a little package after her daughter suggested that maybe I might like her pieces and they are incredible. I've just looked at her Instagram as well and my goodness, I'm gonna be ordering so many more of these. Oh, this is just gorgeous. Sorry about my nails, by the way, my nails are actually disgusting, but I had to show you these. I've just looked at her vases as well. They are incredible. Oh my goodness, Liz, you have a new fan in me. Thank you to your daughter, Rosie, who um, suggested that you send them to me because she was absolutely right. These are absolutely beautiful. I've also unpackaged these. We got sent these vlogging kits and they're from a brand called Joby or Jobby. Um, I managed to get one for Ali as well. I think that he'll put this to really, really good use. You can have like two cameras on there. You can have a light, a microphone. So yeah, I thought these were quite good and I just unboxed them as well. And I have unboxed more reading material. That is what I'm gonna be doing on my Sunday evening. Ali and I have said that we're gonna be having a little bit of a chilled one. My goodness, Pippi Longstocking's over here. But yeah, we're gonna have a chilled evening in front of the fire, in front of the sofa, in front of the sofa, on the sofa, um, together, just to, ready for the week. We've got a lot of tradesmen coming around tomorrow. Yeah, we need to be up and ready because we've got the stone people coming from Haddonstone to look at the walls. We got a lot of stuff going on tomorrow. <laughs> okay, this next box I wasn't gonna open with you. I wanted to let you know that I'm working on something really cool. And this is like way more of a passion project than anything else. As you know, over the last year, I have really kind of discovered art and got into it and found the pieces of art that I like and that I enjoy having in my home. And you will know that I actually purchased some art from Tony Thornton a few years ago, which I still have and I swap my art around and things like that. And I've got a piece of Tony Thornton's art hanging in my hallway as well, one of her prints. 
Tony asked me if I would like to work together on creating some prints together. So my kind of steer on what type of piece of art I would like to have in my home, the tones, the feel, and she would make it happen with her incredible sort of abstract art style. This is the first time that I'm seeing it. I mean, I don't even know what's in this box, but I saw that it was a very exciting delivery from Tony. I've got like frame samples. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting, you have no idea. So I'm thinking these are frame samples and I don't even know what is in this one. Look at this beautiful branded box with a linen bow. Her vision is just amazing. Okay. So I'm just going to get into these because it's super exciting for me. It might not be exciting for you, but it's definitely exciting for me. <laughs> but one thing I know, like that I've realised is I think that there's a lot of you guys out there that felt the same way as me. It felt like art was really intimidating. And quite honestly, some of the comments that I got when I started getting into like art and what I liked was really indicative of that. There was a lot of people that were like so snooty about the fact that I was just discovering art. And it's like this weird like club that you're like almost not allowed to be a part of um, if you haven't grown up around it or something like that. So it was very funny, but it's nice to know that so many of you were interested in the same styles and things like that when it comes to art as I um, have been getting into as well. So yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. Oh wow. So I'm not showing you these yet. I don't know if I should or I can, but these are called To the Moon and Back. Wow, and then this one is the Moonlight series. I need to keep the, the labels to remember what they're called. <laughs> oh, these are insane. Oh, I, I can't believe what she's done. So these are the frame samples. I definitely think that this is the frame. I think this is a slightly more muted, aged, gold frame. I think this one might be too sort of newish. I really wanted something that felt a little bit like antique-y. Uh, yeah, it's definitely this one. I have not spoken to you for a good few hours. Wow, have I been productive. And no, I didn't vlog it. <laughs> I just got onto one. I had the biggest beauty clear out ever. So I've got two bags of beauty stuff that um, I've cleared out. I've tidied up all of my beauty stuff and beauty bits into organized little drawers. And um, my travel bag, not that I'm going anywhere. Hair and body care stuff. A little selection on there. I've also cleared out my bedside cabinet. I've cleared out my pyjama cupboard and reorganized it. I have tidied my dressing room and hung everything that was not hung and put everything away. I mean, who even am I? I've put four baked potatoes in the oven for dinner because we are hungry little boomers. And I'm about to pot my plants. Considering I'm a little bit delicate today, you would never know. I am a productive, Possum. Ali is losing his mind <laughs> trying to do some electric. So he's put all of the new lights up now around the house. They look great. However, there are some weird electrics in this house and there are like lights that weren't ever connected and things like that. And so Ali is currently trying to decipher what is what. I am going to allow my baked potatoes to cook and I'm going to finally pot my herb garden from veg chug so that i can get that done get it prepped get it good to go that's what i'm going to do i just had two jacket potatoes and whew, 
that was probably a little bit much. Um, I'm outside now and I am doing a little bit of potting. I don't think I've got enough soil to do all eight little pot things. I mean, what are these called? I have no idea. I don't have enough uh, soil, so I'm gonna order some more on Amazon and just do what I can now get them done today and then see what else um, I can get done when I have more soil, basically. So. so we have just kissed goodbye to the very last of our training pots. Obviously, I'm not going to throw these away. I'm going to keep them for when I grow other items. But huge shout out to La Roche Posay for kickstarting this little gardening hobby of mine. But I've been repotting some of the items that I've had in my kitchen that need to go into bigger pots and out of their training potties. So very cool. <laughs> Okay, the sun is just setting. I've taken out the garden cress because it was going to seed and that's not when Ali should be eating it. Um, I've also gone ahead and planted a few more uh, sprouts of lemon balm and wild bergamot. This is how the other ones are getting on. They are thriving, but um, I wanted to, to seed a few more. So this is all coming along well. I've got rid of the two baskets because the drainage was, was an issue, but look at my sage. It's doing very well. These guys are just sort of getting there. Got a little bit of um, mint coming through, but rosemary is still a non-starter, unfortunately. I'm just not gifted in the rosemary growing department. But this little area is my piece de resistance. When you can't have a sage green greenhouse, just yet you have a sage green herb tray thingy so this is my equivalent i've replanted all of these bits um i've got some spares in there i'm going to get some more soil our roses that we're waiting to get some pots for are there and um i've already just filled up some pots down there for when i want to sow some more i've got some spare pots because we've taken the old mint that was pretty minging out of there but it's all coming along nicely i'm very proud this is looking so cute. Right, my hair is up in a bun. Face is clean. So, I'm gonna finish off my skincare routine with the Esper Optimal Skin Pro Serum. Inten intensely nourishing, nutrient-rich serum for radiant skin. So I'm gonna put that on before I put on any spot treatments. Just do that. Onto my hand. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. Ugh. I'm going to use my hug in a tub from the Modern Alchemy range. This is the Nourishing Balm and it looks like that. It looks like that on your hands. And I'm gonna rub this in to my arms. It kind of like melts as you um, sort of warm it up between your hands. And I'm just gonna cover myself in this and allow myself to marinate overnight and wake up refreshed for a very lovely Monday morning, I think. It smells so nice, packed full of all of the essential oils and super nourishing for your skin. And it also gives it that really beautiful sheen as well. I will link both of those items in the description box down below. The Modern Alchemy range is one of those ranges that not only smells lovely, feels lovely and has wonderful effects on your skin, but also looks lovely in your bathroom. Very, very smart. I'm gonna get myself into bed and have an early night to wake up refreshed tomorrow.
So I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Happy Monday. I went to bed in a little marinade of cocooniness and coziness last night. And then I woke up with a little bit of energizing bath and shower gel from Esper. And it made my whole like bedroom and bathroom smell of the most wonderful essential oils. It was so nice. However, this one is not particularly energized right now. She is back in bed after meowing all morning. It's a bit of a madhouse this morning, I'm not gonna lie. We've got 20 minutes until our new water feature is delivered. I've got a Zoom call with Instagram, like right now, imminently. Ali is shooting some bits around the house. Then we've got the guys from Haddonstone coming to look at the walls. We've got a lot going on today. So I'm gonna enjoy my morning coffee. I'm gonna set up my Zoom call and I will chat to you in a mo. It has been a very busy day, but um, we finished up the meeting with Haddonstone to sort out the um, walls, which was good. Still not completely set on what we're gonna go for, but Ali and I are gonna sit down today and um, have a look. We are now, we've taken delivery of our water feature. We are now, team and all, getting the water feature in the courtyard. Ta -da! All team are helping out. It's ready to be connected. Just there. <laughs> it is all go. We managed to get it down the stairs. If we'd listened to me first, I think it would have been a bit easier. But sometimes my husband likes to think he knows best. And actually, it's not as like um, intrusive as I thought it was going to be. It like doesn't stick out as far. This is so exciting. So this is the view from up here now. Obviously it's still not finished. We've got the edging to be finished off. And obviously I want to have um, probably like two big comfy seats either side of the water feature. I'm not 100% certain on what they are. I don't know what idea I have in my head for what they're gonna be. But yeah, this is the general setup. I'll take you downstairs and show you a little bit closer. Obviously, we have given it a little bit of a rinse. We've washed down all of our beautiful tumbled limestone floor and honestly, this floor pleases me so, so much. This water feature we actually purchased at Burford Garden Centre, but um, it's from a place called A Place in the Garden and um, this was one of the smaller ones. They have absolutely massive ones, but we just thought for this space it was really good. We're gonna have it put on a timer so that it comes on in the morning and then goes off. The reason why we wanted to have this was so that if any wildlife or anything gets down here, it can at least like have water basically until Ali comes and saves it. So that's the main reason Ali was worried about all of the little froggies and stuff like that. The lights we found from a place in Milton Keynes and I'll link them down below. Obviously these pots are still waiting to be potted. All of Ali's potting paraphernalia is there. But yeah, as I mentioned, it's not finished. And that's the one thing I'm realizing pretty much that unless you have like actual interior designers, Nothing is ever finished, like properly, properly. We're gonna look and search for the right kind of furniture for down here. Also, I've seen that Artifact Flowers do faux olive trees. So if, for whatever reason, these guys don't survive, we will move these up to either side of the patio and put the faux olive trees down here that they have there. I'll link the faux olive trees in the description 
description box down below because they are incredible. Just like everything that Dawn does, it's just amazing. But yeah, it's so nice to finally have this area usable and almost there. It's in a couple of weeks that it will all get finished off and we've got this little patio done. Next stop, it's all of the other side of the house, the uh, gates. I know that the guys that have just done down there are gonna be drawing up the plans for my kitchen garden because obviously things are, all systems are go out here. And my Amazon purchase list today, I purchased some courgette seeds, some lettuce seeds, spinach seeds because Ali eats spinach every single day. I've ordered that. I've ordered more soil and just some bits and bobs. So hopefully I'll have some things because apparently people tend to think that I'll be able to grow my own courgettes in here so i'll pot them in the kitchen first and then plant them out here so we'll see how that goes <laughs> oh dear <laughs> anyway i am going to leave this vlog here because it has been a very busy vlog and um, i've been vlogging all over the weekend it's now monday and i'm gonna chill out catch up with your comments on tonight's video and probably watch a little bit more of the Zac Efron documentary because I'm loving that honestly I think it's you know when someone's like known for being beautiful and I feel like Zac Efron has always been known for being beautiful but it's made me really like him as a person as well and I think that that's just so exciting that he's just such a lovely person he's like a big teddy bear isn't he so we've been enjoying that we're gonna finish off watching that we're gonna have some dinner Maybe I'll take you with me, who knows? But no, I'm gonna finish the vlog here and as usual, I will pick up my vlogging camera and start vlogging again straight away. So I will hopefully see you in my next video. Thank you so much for sticking with me and as usual, if you um, aren't subscribed to my channel, please do hit the subscribe button because it means the world to me and I would love it if you subscribed because we're having a good time over here. <laughs> so I'll see you in my next one, bye.